what's going on um it's been a while since i have posted a video or really done anything but um i'm here i'm on d1 um yeah i'm just gonna kind of be talking while i'm running through this strike um yeah i don't really know how to start this i haven't uploaded since seasonal bobby ones first came out about 10 ish months ago so almost a full year um yeah i went i started my first year of high school this year so i've really been hunkering down trying to make sure i get good grades and stuff like that um and as a lot of y'all guys know coronavirus is around so i've kind of just been stuck at home and quarantined um just playing grinding out stuff um now i do still play d2 i'm not one of those people who's just switched back to d1 because i like it more i've just been i've just been casually playing both because i still like d2 it's just the game's gotten a little bit stale i've kind of got i've ran out of things to do and then i've also uh I don't know. It's not necessarily that D1 is better by any means. It's just it has more replayability, so I've been playing that for a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, so I don't know if I'm going to keep uploading videos. Um, I can't really be sure. I got another week and a half of school, and then I'm going to be done with my first year of high school, which will be re which is really exciting, actually. Um, so again, I have no clue if I'm going to keep uploading, I have no clue how summer's going to go, like if we're still stuck at home, I, I'll probably upload something, I don't know, um, but yeah, um, so I guess I'm just going to get into why I'm kind of grinding stuff on D1, um, and I kind of said it already, like I don't know, I've really been enjoying D1. I've been playing it a little bit, uh, really started liking it, if you guys didn't know, I, this is actually, you could not necessarily consider this my alt account, but my second account, um, cause the first account I played on, um, now I have this video privated, but there was a D1 video I made, uh, about, jeez, I'd have to look it up, but I think two, two or three years ago, maybe, but, it was, um, it was really fun, uh, well, not fun, I wouldn't say, because it was really bad, but, um, it was about the Necrochasm quest, I thought I was smart making a Necrochasm quest video, but, um, that was when, about, maybe, two or three weeks after I'd started this account, and now, obviously, it's been a while, so I've gotten more characters, I've got, like, I have a maxed out Warlock now, maxed out, uh, Titan, which is what I'm playing on right now. I'm actually a Titan main in this game. Um, I'm a Hunter main in D2 now, if you guys don't know. I was a Titan main in D2, and now I'm a... Well, now I'm kind of a Warlock slash Hunter main. Um, I like them both. Uh, I've been playing Hunter a lot. I re I've really been liking Hunter. But, um... Uh, yeah. I have a friend we're supposed to be uh, doing a two-man Axis later, so... I'm trying to get a good stolen will, or uh, yeah, stolen will, uh, from this strike. I grinded out, uh, three skeleton keys today, and, yeah, basically that's it. I grinded out three skeleton keys today, and, um, I already used one of them grinding the strike, and I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just talk while I, because I've basically figured out the speed run strat for this, uh, for this, normally I have other people with me, like, I have this friend who's, I've been helping get 400, um, because if you guys don't know, there's a lot of people who actually haven't gotten 400 yet, a lot of new kindergartians, Swissicle has made D1, not necessarily very famous, but a lot more people going back, you know, because D2's in a weird state right now with the Guardian games and stuff. Uh, like, I played in the Guardian games to get Air Parent, and then I finished, I, and then I was done with Guardian games. Um, but Iron Banner comes back next week, so if I make a video, I might make an Iron Banner video next week. Um, me just playing around in some Iron Banner. 
Um, I actually looked up on a Destiny 2 like Crucible tracker uh, my PvP stats. Apparently, I'm like top three percent on PlayStation and Iron Banner, um, which is nuts. Because literally, all I I only play Iron Banner to get the quest done, and then I stop playing, and I have three uh, percent, or I'm like top three percent or something like that. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, if y'all guys don't know what the shotgun is, I've actually been really excited about it. Um, the shotgun bounties can give you Iron Banner weapons, and I got this amazing, amazing god roll. This is just retort. Final round, flared magwell, aggressive ballistics, full auto. There's only one perk that could be better. This is second tier perk. First tier is oiled frame right here, and that's the only thing that could be better, and it doesn't even make that big of a difference. So I've been using that. I have found Verdict, like, and people are probably, like, if anyone even watches this and knows D1, they're probably going to be like, oh, well, found Verdict is still better. Like, I had my, my friend who I'm going to uh, two-man access with later, maybe. Uh, he was like, well, well, found Verdict is still better. Like, it just barely edges us out. And I'm like, well, yeah, but still, it's, like, it's such a small difference, and I really like, I really like this gun. And plus, the only uh, shotgun that can edge out Found Verdict is Stolen Will, is the only one. Um, so that's why I've been grinding for it. Uh, my friend actually got a god roll of it, and he doesn't even use it. He's like, I don't really like how it feels, and I'm like, dude, really? Um, yeah, after this strike, I'm going to run to the tower, because I have a exotic Ingram... Yes, I know I didn't pop melting point. Okay, there we go. Oh my. He slammed me for big damage. Yeah, I need to be careful since I'm soloing this, but I'm not that worried. Alright, I'll just proceed to miss 40, 40 shots of my Fatebringer on one Scion. Um... But yeah, I played a ton of Crucible earlier. Um, I've really been liking Crucible in D1. I don't know. Um, like everything, not necessarily everything, but a lot of stuff just feels better. I, I don't know, more balanced maybe in D1 than D2. It's like D2 isn't like polished yet, but D1's kind of already been wrapped with like a bow and stuff. And it's, yeah. If that even makes sense. Does he not flinch? Alright, that's annoying. I'm gonna switch to bubble then if he's not gonna flinch. I'm just gonna switch, make a quick swap to that. Cause like, there's no point in running melting point if he's not gonna flinch. Really, he flinches when I don't have melting point on him? <clears throat> That's hilarious. He flinches when I just put in like three shots of my shotgun, but then he doesn't flinch whenever I have two thermite nades and melting point and final round shotgunning him. That's hilarious. Okay. And now I'm out of ammo. So spawn in your little minions. Dude, drop ammo. Uh, you see these? Wow, nothing drops ammo anymore. That's cool. Oh, there's heavy up there. Got a Titan skate. -na 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 Grab that. Ah, boy. Um, but yeah, Sweat School's been grinding a bunch of stuff, to be honest. Um, there's not really much for me to grind in here. I do, I do a lot of my stuff for fun. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still nice to 
have some sort of loot incentive. But to be honest, like, I've kind of just been playing a lot of this for fun, and it's been, I've just been really having a fun time with it, and, um, yeah, like, Axis, I literally have no reason to do it, except for Nano Phoenix, which I don't even care that much about. Like, it looks cool, and it would be nice to have, but, um, I finally got the Valiant Darkness emblem, literally last week, <laughs> um, so that's funny. That should be, yep, there we go, spawning in the next wave. Uh, I think, are the Centurions up? No. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm still really quiet in, the, in my videos, because I know that was a problem a long time ago. Is that I like wouldn't be talking, so it would just be long periods of just silence, and it would be really awkward. But, um, nothing's changed. <laughs> Alright, he's chasing me. Normally he sits up there, so I'm confused as to why he's chasing me, but... I'll just come over here. Give me that. Get that out of here. Okay, give me that. Um, so I guess I'll just talk about quarantine life. I've, I've been doing a few different cool things in, in quarantine. So a lot of people, like, of course, I've been playing a lot of video games, like, with all the free time I have, but I've also picked up a new skill, like a lot of people are doing. Um, well, I guess I've picked up two new, one's not necessarily a skill, one's more of a, like, pastime. Um, I've picked up... The guitar, which is pretty cool. I've been picked up uh, the guitar. I've been learning how to play it. This is not a smart idea. He's going to stomp me and I'm going to get one shot. I'm surprised I survived. I'm going to be honest. Um, but yeah, I, I've kind of just been chilling. I got, so yeah, I picked up guitar, which is, which has been going pretty good, pretty good. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I don't think I've been doing that great, but my, I'm not being self-taught by the way. I am, I do have a teacher. I need you to die so that you're not making them invincible. That's so much special. That would have been embarrassing if I just died by that centurion, but not the boss. Alright, put that there. There we go. That took a little bit longer than expected, but it's okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna run to the tower. I even have a Vanguard package open. Alright, there's stolen will. Nope. If you don't know what I'm going for, it's the same roll here, full auto, final round with oiled, uh, oiled frame and aggressive ballistics. Um... Yeah. To be honest, kind of surprised I just soloed that, but at the same time, I'm kind of not, because I've soloed it before. I soloed this when it was the Nightfall, um, like, a week ago. At least I think it, this was the Nightfall a week ago. I think it was this strike. It may have been another one. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um... Yeah, if anyone sees this here on PSN and you want to hit me up, dude, I've been making a bunch of new friends. Um, on D1, I got like I got my D2 clan. I actually joined a new clan, and I've been playing with them on D2. But some of them also play D1, which is really cool. 
and then I've been making a ton of new friends. Like everyone you see here, I've met uh, while playing D1. Um, like G-Man was probably one of the first guys I met Bibulus yesterday, actually. Uh, Shy I met about a week ago. Mog I actually met today, uh, and then Nigward I met about a week ago too. It's like so it's just I'm meeting a bunch of new people, and it, it's like the D1 community is so great to be honest. Like D2. You couldn't do half the crazy stuff that we do. Like yesterday, I was helping my my buddy get five crucible wins because he wants to get his he wanted to get his exotic class item. He was doing this quest. You have to win crucible matches, so we were trying to win crucible matches, and we just had one of our guys on our team just throwing. Man, he would just run at the enemy team and start dancing at him. And the funny thing is that in D2, you would know that if you started going up to someone and you started emoting, they wouldn't emote back back at you. They would kill you instantly. But on D1, the community is so great that when they see your emoting, dude, they just emote back at you, and you just chill, and you just have, like, I don't know. D1 just has such a great community um, that I wish D2, not necessarily D2, doesn't have. I think D2 also has a great community, but in a different way. So let's just open up these engrams. As you saw, I have a ton of engrams because I've just been doing strikes for the past hour and a half uh, farming skeleton keys basically alright I'm gonna save those actually until the very end yeah create suspense get more watch time no I'm joking but I am gonna save that uh, until I get everything because I think I have stuff in my postmaster too I have engrams in my postmaster it would be cool if I had another uh, uh, thing in my, another exotic in my postmaster. That would be pretty cool. No, I didn't think so. Dang it. Get you out of my inventory. Get you out of my inventory. Well, new, you not yet. Okay. Alright. Uh, if you want to kind of look at the progress I've made, yeah, that. Um, I got a bunch of stuff. I've been doing these. Yeah, these are the two stone wheels. I was using this one for a little bit um, just to see if I actually liked it and stuff like that. So we can roll with full auto here and then final round and then oiled frame here. Um, and then I got this one, you guys saw for just a second, this one that I think I could use for a PvP god roll, even though it doesn't have, sure it doesn't have rifle barrel here, but it does have faded stock, which is okay, and then aggressive ballistic, so I don't know, I'll try it, and then it has replenish, which is my favorite shotgun perk, I think it is so undermined, because people all the time will, like yesterday, during all of our crucible, they were just like, Dude, why are you running self-res warlock? I was doing the pulse rifle bounty on my warlock. I'm trying to get blind perdition. But I, he, they were just like, why are you running a self-res warlock? And I'm like, dude, they run on my corpse. I self-res, get four shotgun ammo from replenish, and then shotgun them in the face. Like, what else do you like? What else do you want me to tell you? I already have a god roll Parthian shots right here. Praise frame. I like life support over secret round because life support is really good. Um, whenever it activates, come on. I want. Let me think. Transversive steps would be really nice, um, and that's kind of it. I, I just really want transversive steps. Dune marchers, yay! Those ones have rocket. Those ones have snipe. Machine gun. Nah. To be honest, I don't even plan on using Dune Marchers in uh in PVE at least, so there's not really any reason to keep them, but But yeah, Zer this week, right here. If you guys Want it. I don't know if I don't know when I'm gonna be uploading this, but if it's the Saturday that I'm uploading it on, then that's where he is. All right, come on, come on, Zavala, give me a, 
Let me see, what can I get from you that I actually want? LDR, Devil You Know could be nice if it gets a good roll. Um, I don't know. I... Man... <laughs> they always give me machine guns, and I don't know why. They always just give me freaking machine guns. Um... That's not what I meant to go to. Uh, just for a quick look at everything that I have. Here's my Titan armor. Um, I'm missing no backup plans here, which I really want. And then insurmountable skull for it, which I don't care that much about. But really just want that no backup plans, to be honest. And then over here. I got a lot of exotics. Um... Not as much as the first account that I played on, because on the first account, I had every exotic except for Thorn and, um, gosh, I had every exotic except for Thorn and Iron Galahorn, but this account, I was able to get Iron Galahorn. Now, on this account, I'm missing Boltcaster, which I have the quest for. Um, a few things in here, I don't know exactly what these are, um... This is Chaperone, uh, and then just some of the raid exotics, the raid pulse, uh, the crota pulse, the uh, exotic scout and exotic uh, hand cannon from Wrath, um, which I'll probably get next week, because next week is when Wrath is the weekly, so I'll probably get those next week, um, and then crota, the crota pulse the week after that, and then I'll have all the... Uh, raid exotics, but yeah To be honest, this is kind of just like an update video with D1 in the background, but um, If I do upload more videos, it would be um, Probably mostly D1 related um, And just one thing one thing to remember if you're playing D1 Don't underestimate the gunsmith bro. like people think that I'm crazy for upgrading my gunsmith level up to 16 people think I'm dumb people think I'm weird look you can get some of the best weapons in the game from the gunsmith this is my hung jury replacement it can literally roll with the exact roll of hung jury firefly it can roll extended mag here I didn't get it but I have the uh, weapon uh, thing weapon package on my warlock so I keep checking that every arms day to get the perfect god roll with the torch site or I think definitely not that site you can get the one that the that hung jury has the uh, vendor one had but I don't I don't know which one it is and then this one this Irene RR4 not a lot of people know but it's actually better than Ex Machina if you can get a good roll of it because it can roll with triple tap here and clown cartridge here which gives it more ammo so I could potentially reload with clown cartridge get you know six bullets in the magazine and then every three I get triple tap and get another bullet so I could shoot eight bullets in a row which doesn't seem like that many when you compare it to D2 but for D1 that's amazing getting how whatever right but yeah I don't know so yeah a lot of people think I'm crazy I'm telling you right now I'm not uh, there's also a really good hockey shotgun which I've been waiting for uh, to show up in the uh, orders whatever the packages um, but it hasn't shown up yet because it can roll with full auto final round and all that stuff but yeah don't underestimate them uh, yeah, I think I think Sweatsicle's gonna be mad if he sees this. <laughs> I uh so I went on a bit of a uh what's the right word? Uh, exotic spree a little while back trying to get Glass House because this was before Zer sold it I think two weeks ago. I went on an exotic spree and uh, I think that guy might be running a raid. I don't know, maybe. But, um, 
yeah, it's crazy how many um, exotics I got. Um, I don't know if y'all guys want to see the exotic farm I was doing. Uh, then I, I don't mind showing people. But yeah, um, so yeah, I got so many chess pieces, and I already had a Twilight Garrison, and then I got three more. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. If y'all guys did, it's kind of just an update thing about what I've been doing, how life's been going with quarantine, how I've been spending my quarantine, kind of maybe what you'll see from me uh, for a little bit. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.